us today. And musician Ellen Fullman doesn't just make her own instruments. She makes her own instruments. She doesn't just make her own music. She's here with us this morning live at the St. Edward University Mary Moody Hall Atrium Gallery with a huge piece here. How long is this, Ellen? This is uh, 53 feet. 53 feet. Now, you said that was the A string, right? That's right. <laughs> what do you call the piece? This is called the long string instrument. Mm -hmm. And how do you play it? How does this work? I play it by uh, stroking uh, the string along the length. Uh, I've got rosin on my, on my hands and also rosin coating the string. Mm -hmm. So I walk along the length. You walk all up and down, all 53 um, feet? It, de it depends on what I'm doing. That's possible and, it, and uh, also it's possible to stand in one place. Now, you started off as a sculptor, you told me earlier. That's right. And kind of, how did, you, how did you get into playing instruments and making performance pieces like this? It began by um, building sculptures that make sound and just sl slowly evolved into more developed thing, which I have to call a musical instrument at this point. <laughs> Now, could you play a little bit, like, just show us how this works and maybe talk us through? I mean, you've got, how many strings do you have here? I've got about 30 strings here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And you, you, get, you get right in the middle of it. You get right up. Yes. And just touching anywhere, would you rub it? Um, I stroke it um, between my fingers. It's just mm -hmm. a light touch that will make, a, make the sound. Mm -hmm. would, could you show us a little bit? So we sure. could have a listen? Sure. it is played. Um, uh, now you've got all these numbers up there. What are they telling you? Those are, uh, uh, well, th I'm working in ratios. Those are, those are just designating the pitch of each string. Uh -huh. um, and you told me that every piece you play is totally composed, that these are not improvisations. That's right. That's right. Uh -huh. Now, Ellen, about how long does a performance last w once you get going in this? Well, we'll be playing three pieces, um, and the total concert will be about 50 minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you play a little bit more? It is beautiful. Um, I was trying to figure out what, what exactly this sounded like. Were you inspired by any particular stringed instrument when you went about making this? I uh, noticed uh, this, this when I first like discovered this sound that uh, it has a kind of reed sound, kind of like an organ, and that's mm -hmm. what I was attracted to in it. Um, but the other thing is that... Um, the strings, the overtones, the harmonics in the strings are very loud, and so also they shift as I move my hands. You can hear the sound changing as I'm moving out from the box. C can you do that just for a second so we can hear what you're talking sure, about? Sure, I can demonstrate that. Um, uh, if I, I start in close and you hear it very high. It almost plays a little melody. And as I move, that continues to uh, change. Mm -hmm. Does it change in pitch as you get further away from no. the... It's all the same pitch, but what you're hearing is the tones above it shifting. Those are the overtones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, now, you have another piece over here. I had heard about this one. This you had in Austin last time you were here. That's right, yes. What, what do you call this right over here? Uh, this is called the water drip drum. Uh-huh. And how does it work? Um, what I do is... Uh, I use um, these 
miniature valves here and uh, just control the rate of dripping water, which uh, hits this pan and makes a sound. Uh -huh. Can you uh, do that just so we can hear how it goes? This was going off a little bit earlier, and there's something so soothing mm -hmm. about the sound. So you, you, have to, you have to undo these little spigots right here? That's right, yeah. I can set them at any rate that I want. I can slow that down and add another one, which will have a slightly different sound. So I can set up polyrhythms with this. Does it change when there's more water in the bucket? Uh, yeah, that changes, and also the position of the um, bucket changes the kind of sound. Now, if you were going to be playing this during a performance, would you be adjusting the spigot so that the water came out differently? Or how, how do you play this instrument? I uh, have performed with it that way. Uh, in the concert, yes, in the concert, um, I'll be, um, I'll just set it up, and then I'll, we'll, we'll play a piece on the strings, and this will just run throughout that piece. Do you want to turn that off just a second? I wanted to ask you, it's, it's wonderful, but it, I'm having a hard time thinking because right. it's, it's so fun to listen to. Um, Ellen, when you come to play a, play a work like this, you've got, I would think that there isn't a huge, huge audience. People are still fairly traditional. They're expecting to see instruments that they can recognize. Uh, do you find that that's a, that's a problem for musicians like you who are working with innovative work, innovative instruments like you are, finding an audience? Is that hard? I think uh, there is a challenge in that, but um, I've found people to be enthusiastic, you know, uh -huh. surprised by it. Now, you said that you got real good reception in Europe that people over there are real interested in what you're doing. Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. That's very true. Mm -hmm. Why don't you play some more of this piece? We've got a little bit more time. Okay. Okay. Sure. Beautiful. That is just a major chord, and you hear all those shifts going on, or those those are the overtones changing. Mm -hmm. When you set about to compose one of these pieces, what's working on you? Uh, I mean, the sound is almost hypnotic. It's mm -hmm. it sounds sort of Eastern. Mm -hmm. uh, what's working on me? <laughs> yeah, I mean, what influences? Oh, um, I I really can't name the influences. There, are, I many influences. I'm I'm very interested in like primitive kind of folk music. I'm, I'm interested in uh, like uh, minimalist music, um, um, rock music. Well, this is wonderful. Thanks for coming here this morning. I know you've got a performance at noon, and I hope we didn't get you up too early for that. <laughs> Alan is going to be performing here, as I said, at noon in the Mary Moody Atrium Gallery here. That performance is free. Uh, that is today and tomorrow night, Saturday, March 8th. She will be back here at 8 p.m. That performance is $5.